you know, at this point we're fighting the, the fires of the future because the future's already here. And the wildfires may drive more folks out of California. A lot, a lot of us may become <laughs> climate refugees. This is what happens without water. This is where the water is supposed to end up, but the snowmelt even water managers expected just never made it here to Lake Oroville. And the impacts are wide ranging from as far away as Southern Californian water taps to grocery shelves across the country. Climate change is a threat multiplier. So you can't say this hurricane happened because of climate change. That's not how it works. That hurricane had way higher rainfall totals than it should have or would have because of climate change. So it's a threat multiplier. This is sad. This is so sad. Somebody needs to, somebody need to do something. This, I mean, it's in my mind. Whether you want to believe in climate change or not, even if you're a complete denier, you can't deny that these events have happened. And uh, so we, at, at a minimum, we need to be uh, trying to get prepared for the kinds of events that we've already experienced. We have to think about maybe changing the way we, we name these disasters. They're, they're not natural anymore. 